friends welcome back so in this video we will calculate remaining output of the project money multiple so as we discussed money multiple is what money multiple is total cash inflows from the project divided by cash outflows to the project okay so we need to first calculate what total cash inflows we are getting from the project and then cash outflows we are incurring in the project and I'll simply calculate ratio there. Okay. This money multiple tells me what's the recovery, how much time we are able to recover from the project. So say if I'm putting just $1 and the project is returning me $1.5. So money multiple is 1.5, 1.5 divided by one. Okay. So let's calculate money multiple of this day. Okay. First, let's calculate cash inflows. Okay to the equity after tax okay what net cash inflows they are getting after paying taxes now friends you can see in this series this is the cash inflows outflows to the equity okay in this row we have both positive and negative numbers so negative numbers tells me this is the cash outflow from the equity holder side and positive numbers will tell me these positive numbers will be cash inflows from the project to the equity holders okay so how we can segregate these numbers because they both numbers are in the same row so i'll use a formula sum if so i need sum of all positive numbers okay so i'll use sum if bracket start first of all you need to link range range on which you want to run this formula so i'll pick this entire range this is my total range of inflows and outflows then comma the criteria the criteria of selection of numbers which will be added okay so the criteria is what all the numbers which are greater than zero means which are positive those are my cash inflows so i'll put this condition within inverted commas so double quotes right inverted comma start greater than zero okay all numbers which are greater than zero sum if numbers which are greater than zero okay comma sum range again i'll link this entire range bracket close enter 106 so sum of all positive numbers would be 106 million dollar this is dollar million i'm explaining this formula again so guys what this sum if is doing first I'm linking the entire row on which this condition will be, will be, would be applied. Okay. So this is the entire row on which this condition, condition is what? It has to search all the numbers which are greater than zero. Okay. And I need to put this, keep this condition within inverted commas and some range means whatever numbers I need to sum up, this range will be repeated here first for the condition and then for the summing up okay so i got 106 million dollar of total cash inflows from this project now to calculate money multiple i need to calculate cash outflows and guys i'll apply the same formula but now i need numbers which are less than zero so my condition here would be sum if sum if range first i need to link range okay comma now the condition is what less than zero right so within inverted commas okay less than zero right not greater than zero less than zero inverted comma closed and then some range again i link this range and bracket close 61 so i'm making 61 million dollar of investment this is the dollar million okay i'm making 61 million dollar of investment and how much i'm getting 106 okay so to calculate money multiple i need to divide this cash inflows with cash outflows but because my cash outflows are in negative so i'll get this money multiple in negative so what i'll do i'll convert this cash outflows in a positive number so that i can get a multiple right i'll prefix minus sign there with this sum and the 61 is converted into positive so it shows 106 is outflow and 61 uh, 106 is inflow and 61 is my outflow 
Now the money multiple is 106 divided by 61, 1.7, okay, 1.7 times. This is my money multiple. I am recovering 1.7 times of my investment. So my requirement number three is done. So the requirement number four is what? What's my requirement number four, guys? See, my requirement number four is you need to calculate profit on the deal. What's the total profit you're making on the deal? Net of taxes. So it's very simple, guys. You have cash inflows, outflows, right? So net profit of the tax, you know, and these cash inflows, outflows of the taxes. So profit of the post tax would be just sum of all these inflows and outflows. Your expenses, net of sales, net of expenses, $44 million you are making as a profit after taxes. Okay. So my requirement number four is done. So you can see guys how easy it is to calculate your output once you have cash inflows outflows in place. Okay. Now friends, the next requirement of the model is we need to calculate sensitivity on deal IRR based on price per square meter and capex pen. So here we need to understand how sensitive my deal IRR is to change in my capex spent and selling price per square meter. If there is increase and decrease in the selling price of the project or if there is increase or decrease in the capex spent then how it will impact my overall IRR of the project. This we need to understand. To run this analysis we will use data table function in the Excel. See, the advantage of data table is I need not to change any of my original assumption. I need not to change my model. I can see final outcome, impact on the final outcome by just running this sensitivity analysis on the basis of the factors what they have mentioned. Okay, so let's see how we do this. Friends, first of all, so you can see this is the format of sensitivity analysis. You can just create it like it's a two by two matrix. Requirement number five, sensitivity on deal IRR. Okay, so on the output, you want to run sensitivity. You need to link that final output of your model here in this cell in the corner. Okay, so I need to run sensitivity on the deal IRR, which is 20.9% annual IRR. Now, you can see guys, I've created a range. I need to create range here on price per square meter and capex spent. Okay. This assumption, the price per square meter assumption, I'm keeping in the row. This is the row and capex spent I'm keeping in the column. So here I need to provide range of capex spent and selling price. You know, and this range you can decide based on the requirement. Like if you think that a variation in the selling price could be, uh, so 6,000 is my base case. So that you can say, okay, it can be in the range of 5,700 to 6,300. Okay. So you can create this range. If you think like the variation could be more, it can be maybe 5,000 to 7,000. So accordingly, you can decide the range of this sensitivity analysis. And in the same manner, keep expand. You can see in this sensitivity analysis, I have kept seven column. It means I'm assuming dif seven different selling price per square meter and seven, you know, cells in the column. So I'm assuming seven different possible, you know, values of capex spent. In the middle of this table, row and column, I'll keep my base case assumption here. Okay. So my base case assumption is my selling price is 6,000 per square meter and $15 million is my operational capex. I'll keep this in the middle of my table. So here, this is my middle. So one, two, three, three I'll leave on the left hand side and three column I leave on the uh, cells I leave on the right hand side. So this is the middle and I'll keep 6,000 as a, my base case assumption. Likewise, in the column, I'll keep in the middle 15 million dollar as my base case assumption okay 
around this I can create a range so say 6000 so on the left hand side I will decrease this number and on the right hand side I will increase this number so let's assume hundred dollar variation on both side so 6000 minus 100 59 again I'll so I'll just copy this 58 57 on the upper side this would be plus 100 and copy so I got range of $5,700 to $6,300 per square meter and in the middle I have my base case assumption okay so I can highlight this with different color likewise I'm assuming a variation of $1 million in the capex operational capex so first I'm decreasing this by sorry minus one and I just copy this and downward I'll increase and copy okay so I got this range range of my capital expenditure and range of selling price per square meter now guys to run this sensitivity analysis I first need to link my input drivers of the model on the same tab basically the input driver here is this 6000 rupees per square meter is the price and the 15 million dollar is the spend these two input cell on which i want to run sensitivity should be on the same tab okay right now in the assumption sheet so these two uh, assumptions are in the assumption sheet and my model is linked to these two assumptions i need to reroute these assumptions on my inflow outflow tab okay where i have this sensitivity analysis okay so what I'll do, I'll re-put these assumptions here. I've created these two cell here. You can see at the bottom, operational capex and selling price per square meter. I'll put these assumptions here. 6,000 is my selling price and $15 million is my operational capex. Now, what I'll do in the assumption tab, right now, they are directly punched here, 15. I link this 15 from this cell. I've just made this cell dependent on my this cell okay and 6000 I link from this cell that's it and you can see that with the change I have made in my assumption sheet nothing has changed in my final output okay 20.9 percent is still your equity IRR deal IRR okay now the only change what I have made is I have made this cell these two cell dependent so this and this these two cells dependent on my key input driver cells okay now let's run sensitivity analysis so to run sensitivity analysis i first need to select this range column and row this entire range including this output okay which is in the middle uh, which is in the corner so i'll select this range and now you have to go to the data in, in your excel in the top ribbon you can see our data of uh, function under data under data tab you can see there is a what if analysis okay if you click on this there are three analysis here scenario manager goal seek and data table you need to pick the third one data table now in the data table you can see i need to link it is asking me to link row input cell so in the row what assumption i am keeping I'm, I'm running sensitivity on the assumption of price per square meter so i need to provide link to that cell where this table will make changes of this price per square meter and automatically it will calculate the final outcome though it will not make any changes to your original model it will do this change these changes in the background of your excel okay so i'll link this price per square meter 6000 uh, which is f6 and column 15 now guys these two cells are basically my key input cell if table makes changes in these two cells entire model will change so my model is dependent on these cells so that's why i have linked my assumption sheet to these cells okay not these cells from the assumption sheets now guys you can click on ok and you can see I got different possible IRRs of the project okay under different scenarios 
you can see guys with the increase in the selling price per square meter your IRR is increasing and with the decrease in the selling price per square meter your IRR is decreasing with the increase in the capital spend your IRR is decreasing with in decrease in the capital spend your IRR is increasing right you can see that now see corresponding to my base assumptions right base case assumptions 6015 uh, million spend this is the final output of my model you can see this is matching with my uh, final outcome of the model okay 20.9 percent and i can see all possible ira deal ira under different scenarios now in this table you can see the best case the best case scenario is when I am able to sell my project at $6,300 per square meter and I am able to control my capex to $12 million. My original estimate was 15. So if I am able to complete this project with $12 million of operational capex, my IRR would be maximum 24.6%. 20 this would be maximum IRR in my range of assumption and the worst case scenario is if my capex increases my cost overrun is up to 18 million dollar there is a cost overrun and my selling price decreases in that case i'm making 17 percent irr so in the worst case scenario i'm making 17 percent return from this project so the objective of this sensitivity analysis is to understand how my return will change with the change in key assumptions and I need not to make any changes in my original model. Okay, my model is still giving me 20.9% IRR based on the base case assumptions of 6015 million dollars spent. So I'm done with my requirement number five sensitivity on the deal IRR. Now, friends, requirement number six. So, what's the requirement number six? Let's see. Under requirement number six, I need to calculate NAV of the D in each month this is a monthly NAV okay net present value you can say NPV so this is NPV in each month every month what's the net present value of the project okay so I need to calculate NPV on the monthly basis okay and in the requirement number seven I need to calculate joint venture partners share of profit okay so what should be share of profit of joint venture partner so that developers IRR is 20% so what percentage of profit we should share with the joint venture partner so that final IRR to the developer is 20% okay so we'll, deep, we'll do these two calculation in the next video see you there